In this problem, we're being asked to add two rational expressions. The first function is the first rational expression, 4 plus or divided by 3x, and that's going to be added to the second function, which is 2x divided by 5. So the main thing to remember is that in order to add or subtract rational expressions, fractions, we need to find a least common denominator. So our denominators are 3x and 5. Now remember that in a least common denominator, you need to have all the factors of the denominators represented without repetition. So in 3x, we basically have two factors, 3 and x, and in 5, we have 5. So we're going to put them together as 3 times x times 5, or more simply written, 15x. So next, what we want to do is take each of our fractions one at a time, 4 over 3x, and say, what would this be equivalent to with a common denominator of 15x? And we do that by taking a look at the denominator and saying, well, we went from 3x to 15x. So what did that get built up by? And it got built up by a factor of 5. So we'll do the exact same thing to the numerator to find the new numerator. And we get 4 times 5 is 20. Now we do the same thing with the second rational expression, 2x divided by 5. And we say, what would that be equivalent to with a common denominator of 15x? So we go run through the same uh, analysis, but we get different results. 5, in order to become 15x, would be built up by both a 3 to get the 15 and an x. So again, what we do to the denominator, we have to do the same thing to the numerator to maintain the balance. Remembering that 3x divided by 3x is just 1. So in the numerator, we have 2x times 3x. Putting that together with multiplication, we get 6x squared, because we have two x's there. And now we've written our two parts of our addition problem with a common denominator. So we're ready to bring that together. So we have 20 over 15x plus 6x squared over 15x. So now that we have common denominators, we can bring this together as one big fraction with that common denominator 15x. So from the first fraction, we'd have 20 plus, from the second one, 6x squared. Now normally, we would add uh, or subtract terms that are like terms, but in this problem, we don't have any in the numerator. Um, so we would then look to see if this problem reduces. So we'd look for a common factor in the numerator with a common factor in the denominator. I note that in the numerator, each term is divisible by 2, so we could factor out a 2, but it wouldn't reduce with the 15 in the denominator. So we're going to just leave our answer as 20 plus 6x squared divided by 15x.